Hey, what's up everyone? I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. So don't take no advice from me. Let me grab my coffee real quick. Alright, thank you. Have a good day. You too. Um, yeah, so don't base anything I say out of these videos. I'm not a financial advisor. But um, what I was going to say is one thing that needs to be said that I don't know if <clears throat> people want to hear but probably necessarily need to hear. Um, no one knows when this thing's going to pop. No one. There, there might be a couple people in the back room, but I don't. You know, as far as YouTubers, experts, chart analysis uh, geniuses, you know what I mean? Like, no one knows. No one has an idea when this will go, what the price range is, um, what the catalyst price range is. Even me, like, I'm guessing 6 to $8. That's that's a pretty big swing. But um, I, I really think once it gets to those ranges, uh, 650 and, 6.15 held, 6.50 held, 7 held. I think at that, at that point, and that's just my personal opinion, um, from whatever research I've done and feeling I've got on it, but I don't know. I, there's no way I could possibly know, and no one really knows any of this shit. So, that being said, make sure to do your own DD. Make sure you have your own conviction. If not, you know, you're not gonna be able to hold through the, the hard times. You know. So, for me personally, I, I I just don't look at when it's low like this. It's just like whatever. You know, I, there ain't, it makes no sense for me to sell at this point. Uh, I'm not gonna sell at a loss and. I don't want to sell for minimal gain. I'm here for life-changing money, and that's just what it is. So um, do your own research. Do your own DD. Don't rely on YouTube, especially YouTube. Don't rely on Facebook, Reddit. Yes, all very good uh, sources to get your information. Um, but some things can be misguided. Some things can be misunderstood, and then we relay it out, and it's just not right. So one thing I'm certain on, and I have no factual evidence, I'm certain that this thing is... Um, oversold or synthetics, um, and that's just my opinion. But I'm, I'm, I feel certain that that we're we're destined to squeeze Moas um, giant run at least. You know, if not, then I gave it a shot. But don't don't put all your eggs in the basket of the YouTubers and Facebook. Like a lot of times, people send links, and that's a good way. Um, but do your own research, do your own DD. That that includes like uh, looking up boring ass documents, um, SEC site. Uh, you know, you got to have multiple sources. You can't just go to one website, one government website, or Stonko Tracker, and then oh, well, we're good. You know, you got to you got to do your research. You got to. There's a at this point, there's a big history involved with this play, so you got a lot to do if you're new. But it'll definitely, uh, for me personally, open my eyes. And, and when I did my own, like, when I first heard about the play through a guy actually off my Facebook, I was like, oh, yeah, maybe, yeah, whatever, it sounds cool. I bought a few shares and, you know, dumped them. And then once I kind of jumped in, in and bought more shares and got deep in it, I was like, oh, shit, okay. So that's all I'm saying, man. Don't 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 base everything off of other people's research. So I guess that's it for you, man. Have a good day. Be blessed. We'll be rich soon. Peace.